Good day, everyone, and welcome to 5G America's Wireless Technology Summit 2024. I am Cynthia redock Downs, Chief Executive Officer of the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, and my presentation today is on virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and applications, the future of telecommunications networks. The outline for today's presentation is the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago about us, start strategic plan and focus for 2022 to 2025, the ITU Global Regulatory Outlook for 2023, policy and regulation opportunities and challenges, current initiatives, regulatory framework to support 5G, and the future of telecommunications networks. The Telecommunications Authority was established by an act of parliament in 2004, and we are responsible for managing spectrum and number resources, establishing equipment and service quality standards, setting guidelines to prevent anti-competitive practices, and encouraging investment in order to facilitate the uptake of telecommunications and broadcasting services to all. TAT is also responsible for resolving consumer complaints, consumer advocacy, and impl implementing the relevant and most appropriate universal service initiatives to ensure ICTs are available, affordable, and accessible. So the objects of the Act, creating an open telecommunications market with conditions for fair competition, ensuring the orderly development of telecommunications to safeguard, enrich, and strengthen society's cultural, social, and economic well-being, protecting and promoting the public interest, particularly with regard to accessibility, affordability, and quality of service, facilitating universal access to telecommunications, encouraging investment in telecommunications, and regulating broadcasting services. So a strategic focus for 2022 to 2025 is based on four themes. Universal quality connectivity, sustainability of the industry, organizational effectiveness, and regional harmonization and empowerment. A little bit about the current state of the Trinidad and Tobago ICT market. We have a population of approximately 1.4 million. We have two mobile operators, 99% 3G coverage, 94% 4G LTE coverage, 92% of homes subscribe to fixed broadband services, 63% of our population are on the mobile internet, so the mobile internet uh, penetration is 63%, and we have 5G micro deployment in existence. The ITU Global Regulatory Outlook 2023. So the ITU has a changing policy focus, and they've identified four areas of focus for the subsequent years. Universal access and service, looking at obligations to fixed and mobile internet providers and universal service funds, broadband infrastructure investment, broad, looking at broadband stimulus plans, ICT master plans, and NGN, NG strategies. Then there's digital transformation, which looks at digital automation, digital economy, digital development, and smart cities. And the fourth, digital enablers, which look at 5G and 6G, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and digital assets. Now, looking a little closer at the ITU Global Regulatory Outlook, the ITU has noted that change and challenge have characterized the global industry and its development from telecommunications to digital markets through prosperity, stability, and disruption. Policies have targeted infrastructure challenges from investment to digital inclusion to innovation. Universal access and service policies, the bedrock of ICT reform, has been transformed into cross-sector infrastructure policy, with an increasing number of countries now adopting a national broadband or a digital transformation strategy. So what are the challenges and opportunities for policy and regulation? 
the transformative potential of modern day technology requires policymakers and regulators like us to strike the right balance between social, environmental, economic, and legal factors. One third of the global population still lacks digital connectivity. A primary policy and regulatory concern remains addressing the digital divide and ensuring open, accessible, and inclusive ICTs. Areas such as AI, Internet of Things, VR, and the metaverse offer a unique opportunity for policymakers and regulators to harmonize their policy and regulatory efforts related to these areas and its enabling technologies. Again, we look at the access and the digital divide. New technologies present an opportunity to reduce the digital divide by accelerating sustainable digital transformation and the rollout of ICT infrastructure, skills, and access programs. Data governance. When it comes to data governance, particularly across borders, data access, sharing, and use have become central drivers of economic growth and social well-being. Accessibility and inclusion. As technology continues to develop, there is an opportunity to build on previous experience with digital platforms and networks to create a truly accessible and inclusive environment for all. Intellectual property rights. Intellectual property is expected to be a key tool in incentivizing innovation and investment. One of the realities of technology is the creation of new economic and creative opportunities for users from around the world, irrespective of their physical location or social status. The advent of generative AI tools now adds a new layer of complexity. Next, we look at current initiatives, that's regulatory framework to support 5G. Now, our regulatory framework to support 5G consists of a spectrum management framework, our 5G framework, our PMTS spectrum plan, and our BWA or broadband wireless access spectrum plan. Four pillars. The revised spectrum management framework has allowed us to allocate spectrum to the highest value use, enable spectrum to move to its highest value use, and attempts to formulate a more light-handed approach towards spectrum management and spectrum allocation. It promotes certainty and flexibility. It balances the cost of interference against benefits of greater utilization. And we seek to harmonize spectrum use with regional and international allocations. So let's talk a little bit about development of our 5G framework. The pre-consultation started and was completed in 2021, December. We published the first round of public consultation in July 2022, with comments received from operators and 5G Americas. The second round of public consultation was completed in February 2023, and our approved 5G framework was published in September 2023. Now, doing a 5G framework was a little apart from the authority normally, how we normally operate. Because we are uh, technology neutral, our policies and frameworks are meant to deal with all types of spectrum. But in this instance, we felt that 5G, with the change from 4G to 5G was so significant that it warranted a different approach to our frameworks. And hence the reason why the 5G framework was born. So these are our policy statements on 5G. Policy statement one, identifies low band 700, 850 megahertz spectrum, mid band 1900, AWS 2.5 gigahertz and lower 3.5 gigahertz and millimeter wave spectrum for 5G. Statement two, defers the upper C band, which is the 3.7 to 4.2 gigahertz for use for 5G, to protect existing TVRO and VSAT systems and altimeter wave use. The third statement 
continued consideration for the use of the upper 6 gigahertz band since we've already identified the lower 6 gigahertz band for Wi-Fi. Statement 4 awards spectrum via direct assignment for existing mobile operators or auctions for new use. And policy statement 5 proposes procedures for new sites for 5G. So we move on to the revision of the Public Mobile Telecommunication Services, or PMTS, Spectrum Plan. And that Spectrum Plan was last updated, and that was version 4 in 2017. So we published the first round of public consultation in March 2023. We published for the second round of public consultation in January, and it ended in March 2024, January 2024. To March 2024. So the revised spectrum plan for PMTS is scheduled to be published by June 2024. The revised PMTS spectrum plan increases mid-band 1900 AWS bands to band 25 and 66. It allocates more low-band spectrum, again in the 700 and 850 megahertz bands, and it adds 90 megahertz of mid-band, 2.5 gigahertz, and 200 megahertz of 3.3 to 3.65 gigahertz spectrum. It introduces aggregate spectrum caps across bands for larger channel bandwidths, award spectrum via direct assignment for or competitive licensing, and defers the millimeter wave to the future due to the absence of demand. So that's those are the decisions that we made within the revised PMTS spectrum plan. Now it's noteworthy that there is increased interest in private LTE or 5G networks. There are growing inquiries for spectrum for 5 for 5G for private networks. So considering the 2.3 gigahertz lower 3.5 gigahertz bands for accommodation, that's what we are considering. Low-power private LTE 5G networks can also be supported in MSS ATC bands, such as band 53. The framework for the authorization of standalone ATC systems under its first of two rounds of public consultation from December 2023 to February 2024. So that first round of public consultation on ATC systems has now ended. And so, Spectrum for private networks is to be incorporated in the BWA Spectrum Plan, planned for public consultation in 2025. So, in effect, the authority is responding to the increased interest in private LTE 5G networks. And in this way, we are making Spectrum available. The Spectrum Plan, which will incorporate these networks, will be published in 2025. And so we move on to the future of telecommunications networks. 5G networks are the gateway of Internet of Things, predictive interaction, advanced AI, VR, digital overlays, immersive experiences, technological sustainability, or essentially the delivering of the right information at the right time. TAT's focus on 5G is intended to facilitate IoT's Internet of Things, VR, virtual reality, and AI, artificial intelligence, by overcoming technical limitations, thereby enabling opportunities for innovation and collaboration. Now we move on to promoting connectivity in Trinidad and Tobago, the potential for 5G to enhance AI, AR, and VR. VR, AI, and AR technologies are rapidly developing, which opens the door for a diversified range of applications in entertainment, virtual communities, personal healthcare, industrial design, surgical training, and many others. The regulation of VR, AR, and AI technologies has become a worldwide priority given the unintended and unpredictable consequences of these technologies related to democracy, human rights, 
fundamental freedoms, security, and economic, social, and social development. Advances in 5G technologies have overcome some of these challenges and provide cost-effective approaches for wireless network connectivity between various sensors, processors, and monitoring platforms in both industrial and commercial environments. Using 5G speed along with AR and VR applications on mobile devices, companies can provide customers with real-time guidance. For example, a customer trying to assemble a complex piece of equipment could get live help via AR, which delay overlays specific instructions on top of what the consumer is seeing. There's also big data-driven 5G optimization. Big data-driven network optimization is a process that utilizes the power of big data analytics to enhance the performance, efficiency, and quality of mobile networks. With the adoption of 5G, big data analytics are set to play a significant role in data-driven network optimization. One of the main goals of big data-driven mobile network opti optimization is to enhance the overall user experience by optimizing network performance and reducing issues such as drop calls and slow data speeds. Telcos can increase customer satisfaction and retention. Based on the insights gained from data analysis, telcos can make informed decisions to optimize their network infrastructure. Big data is supported by the authority and is also used in the management of spectrum and numbering resources. So in summary, 5G is the latest generation of mobile communications that will improve current systems and services by offering, among other things, increased data rates, slower latency, and better mobility. The authority has drafted a framework for fifth generation public mobile telecommunication networks to create the regulatory environment to support the introduction and development of 5G networks in Trinidad and Tobago. Using 5G speed, along with AR and VR applications on mobile devices, a broad range of emerging and innovative services will be made available to users in the future. And in conclusion, emerging areas such as AI, Internet of Things, VR, and the metaverse with their underlying technologies have significant transformative potential. A multitude of policy and regulatory trans challenges first need to be carefully considered and actioned by the policymakers and regulators. Privacy, security, and trust are extremely important. TAT is ensuring that its regulatory framework remains relevant and up-to-date by developing regulatory tools that cater to these technological developments and market changes. These are a list of useful resources that you can use to find out more about TAT and the work we're doing in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you.